Major announcement about voting rights today with an impact on more than 200,000 people in Virginia. Governor McAuliffe restored voting rights to some 206,000 convicted felons in the Commonwealth. It's happening just in time for those people to register to vote in this year's presidential election. That has some Republicans saying it could greatly impact the outcome. Tenant your side's Deanna LeBlanc has a look at the effects. Deanna? Chris, the implications of this executive order are far reaching. Obviously, in a swing state, an additional 200,000 potential voters is huge. That has Republicans reacting strongly tonight. But politics aside, this action is personal for people like Jennifer, who works with us here at Wavy. She's served her time and she says she simply wants the right to vote. I made a mistake, I made a poor decision, I deserve to have to deal with the consequences of that. Despite serving six months of weekends in prison more than a decade ago for felony hit and run, Jennifer Anneman hasn't been able to exercise common rights like the right to vote. Kind of makes you feel like you don't matter, you don't get to participate. Let me be crystal clear. 206,000 Virginians will get their rights back to vote. Today's sweeping executive actions by Governor McAuliffe grants convicted felons that right to vote, to participate in a jury, and to hold political office. We will ensure that every Virginian with the freedom to live in our communities also has the right and the responsibility to participate in our democratic process. McAuliffe says outdated laws take aim at the state's African-American population. He says one in five African-Americans have lost the right to vote. Virginia will no longer build barriers to the ballot box. We will break them down. For Anamin, the move is not political. It simply means getting married in nine days, feeling like a whole person. For a long time, it's been something in the back. And because it's back here, people judge you up here for it. So... It was a mistake, and I'm just so ready to move on with my life. And like we told you, at 5, Republicans say the move is purely political, aimed at beefing up voting numbers in the Commonwealth. Again, likely to be a swing state. We have those statements on Wavy.com. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.